Hello, wonderful audience. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. Welcome aboard as we set sail on a journey through Stuffane Ruffia. Stuffane Ruffia, born 27 September 1986, is a French former professional footballer who played as a goalkeeper. A former captain for both Monaco and Saint Etienne, Ruffia made 428 appearances in Ligue 1 during his career. He is also a former French international, having earned three caps for the national team between 2010 and 2015 and been named to the 2014 FIFA World Cup squad. Let's zoom in on early life and career and understand its implications. Raphael was born on 27 September 1986 in Bayonne to Jean Framois Raphael, a world champion in the sport of Ask Pelota, and Patricia Raphael. He has two sisters, one of which is a figure skater. Raphael is of Basque descent having been born and raised in the heart of French Basque country. Despite emulating his father's skills in Basque Pelota as a child, Raphael grew an attraction to the sport of football and joined the football section of the Aviron Bayonnaise Sporting Club at the age of six. He entered the academy initially as an outfield player and was training to become a striker. However, at the age of eight, due to goalkeeper shortage at the academy, Raphael was asked by a youth coach to try out for the position. The transition was a success and, by the age of 13, Raphael had acquired the physical skills and traits needed to excel at the position. While in the youth system of Bayonne, Raphael helped the club's under-13 team win the Coupe de Pirens. The following season, he attended a trial session with professional clubman Pellier, but ultimately failed to impress. In 2002, Raphael was spotted by Monaco scout Arnold Catalano. Catalano is known for recruiting Firi Henry to the club and recommended Ruffier join Monaco on a trial. On to August 2002, after a successful trial with the club, Ruffier signed an Arsprint youth trainee contract with the club. The spotlight now falls on Monaco as we delve deeper into its details. Upon his arrival to the club, Ruffier was inserted into the team's youth academy and honed his skills as a goalkeeper under the watch of goalkeeper coaches Jean-Luc Etri, Andra Amitrano, and and Biancarelli. After spending only one season in the club's academy, he was promoted to the club's Championnat de France amateur team in the 4th division. Ruffier made 10 appearances with the team during the season, and for the season, was named as first choice goalkeeper of the amateur team and made 17 appearances. Following the season, Monaco loaned Ruffier back to his former club Bayonne with hopes that the youngster would get some consistent first team playing time. At the club, Ruffier was installed as the team's first choice goalkeeper by manager Christian Seremoner. He responded by playing in all 38 league matches, but could not prevent the team from suffering relegation to the CFA as the club finished in 17th position. Following the campaign, Ruffier returned to Monaco. On 10 May 2006, Ruffier signed his first professional contract with Monaco agreeing to a three-year deal until June 2009. He was moved into the backup goalkeeper position behind the Italian Flavio Roma. Due to Roma's consistency in goal, Ruffia made no appearances in the season. The following season, Roma suffered an injury in the team's third league match of the season against Metz. Ruffia made his professional debut in the match appearing as a substitute in the 58th minute for Roma and maintained the team's lead. Monaco later scored another goal to record a victory. In the team's next three matches, Ruffia played the full 90 minutes in victories over Socha, Le Mans, and Lille. He finished the campaign with 12 total appearances, 10 in the Ligue and 2 in the Coupe de France. In the Ligue 1 season, manager Ricardo Gomez decided to retain Ruffia as the team's number one goalkeeper. Ruffia appeared in 36 total matches recording 11 clean sheets which included blanking Paris Saint-Germain on two occasions and holding off Marseille at the Stade Vlodrum with the hosts out shooting Monaco. He also helped the team reach the semi-finals of the Coupe de France. During the season, on 15 September 2008, Raffia signed a contract extension with Monaco until 2010. At the end of the season, he signed another extension with the club, this time until June 2013. 
in the campaign, Ruffy recorded 15 clean sheets in 32 matches in league play. In the Coupe de France, he earned three clean sheets as Monaco reached the 2010 edition of the Cup's final match. In the final, Ruffy maintained a clean sheet for over an hour and a half before conceding a Guillaume Mahora header in extra time. On 27 July 2010, Ruffia was named captain of Monaco by manager Guy Lokobi for the season. In the opening match of the season against Olympic Lyonnais, Ruffia dueled with French international and first-choice goalkeeper Hugo Lloris. Both keepers performed well producing equally good saves in a draw. During a match against saint Etienne, which resulted in a draw, Ruffia suffered a groin injury that ended his season prematurely. Ruffia's absence contributed to AS Monaco finishing 18th and being relegated to League 2. Now, let's dig deeper into saint Etienne and unveil the hidden treasures it holds within. Following AS Monaco's relegation to League 2, Ruffia was linked with clubs like Manchester City and saint Etienne, but Ruffia rejected Manchester City because he did not feel City could offer him the same playing opportunities as Les Berts. On 7 August 2011, Ruffia made his debut for saint Etienne in a away win over Bordeaux and received a yellow card during the match. In September 2014, Ruffy penned a new four-year deal with the club that would keep him at saint Etienne until 2018. On 24 November 2019, Ruffy played every minute of his 303rd League One match for saint Etienne in the home draw with Montpellier, equalling former saint Etienne goalkeeper Ivan Yakovi's nearly four decades long record as the goalkeeper who made the most number of appearances for the club in League One. In the latter half of the campaign, Ruffia came into conflict with manager Claude Paul after being dropped from the starting lineup in favour of Jesse Moulin. In August, Paul confirmed that he was out of the club's plans for the upcoming season. On 4 January 2021, Saint Asian announced the termination of his contract. On 13 January 2021, Ruffia announced he had retired from football and joined his hometown team Bayonne as a youth educator. Welcome to the next segment, where we explore international career and its significance in our journey. During Ruffia's development at Monaco, he was absent from the France youth national teams. After receiving consistent playing time at Monaco, Ruffia was called up to the under-21 team in November 2007. On 15 November 2007, he made his under-21 debut playing the entire match in the team's draw with Armenia in Colmar. He appeared in several matches for the team in qualification for the 2009 UEF a European Under-21 Championship, but ultimately failed to make the squad that lost on aggregate to Germany in the team's two-legged playoff match. The elimination from the competition ended Ruffier's Under-21 career. During the season, Ruffier earned praise from the media for his performances. The praise led to calls for the player to be called up to the senior team. However, coach Raymond Dominic preferred Drick Carasso as the team's third-choice keeper and took him, along with Lorries and Steve Mandanda, to the 2010 FIFA World Cup. On 16 June 2010, goalkeeper Carasso dropped out of the team due to injury and the national team's goalkeeper coach Bruno Martini contacted Ruffia to travel to South Africa and replace him. Despite FIFA denying the team's request of a replacement player, Ruffia still trained with the team and was on the team bus during the player boycott to protest the dismissal of striker Nicholas Anelka. On 23 July 2010, following a meeting by the Federal Council of the French Football Federation, all 23 players in the World Cup squad were suspended for the team's upcoming 11 August friendly match against Norway on request of new coach Laurent Blanc. The move placed Ruffier in limo as he was not formally a part of the team, but was on the bus during the player boycott. On 5 August 2010, Ruffia was called up to the senior team officially for the first time by Laurent Blanc for the team's friendly against Norway. Ruffia expressed gratitude towards Laurent Blanc thanking him for the opportunity. He also stated that, before the announcement of the squad, Blanc had contacted him to explain why he was not a part of the strike. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore club from a different angle. 
Club Season League National Top League Cup Europe Total Division Apps Goals Apps Goals Apps Goals Bayern Championate National 38-0-2-0 Total 38-0-2-0-0-0 Monaco League 1 0 0 3 0 10 0 2 0 0 0 32 0 4 0 0 0 37 0 6 0 1 0 34 0 1 0 3 0 Total 113 0 16 0 4 0 Saint Asian League 1 38 0 1 0 38 0 Zero three zero five zero thirty eight zero 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 one zero thirty eight zero eight zero two zero thirty eight zero four zero 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 thirty one zero 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 one zero thirty five zero 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 one zero thirty seven zero two zero one zero twenty two zero four zero 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 total three hundred and fifteen zero twenty two zero thirteen zero create total four hundred and sixty six zero forty zero seventeen zero Appearances and goals by club, season and competition. In the upcoming section, we'll be shining a light on international. Source. National Team Year Apps Goals France 2010 10 10 10 Total 3-0. Let's now shift our focus to honours and explore the ways in which it shapes our perspective. saint Etienne et cap de la Ligue, a Cap de France runner-up. Share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge.